And to me, guys, just hearing him say this tells me that he is not over now no longer playing Kang the Conqueror and additionally may in fact have feelings, bad feelings, on losing the villain role to Robert Downey Jr. What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. TMZ has an exclusive video, an interview in fact, of Jonathan Majors and how he feels about Robert Downey Jr. becoming Dr. Doom. Before we get into the video, I want to remind you guys to make sure you smash that like button and make sure you're subscribed to the channel because I push out Marvel Studio news like this on the channel quite often so you will not want to miss it. But guys, this exclusive news, this exclusive interview from TMZ is absolutely mind-blowing so i'm not gonna waste any time here let's get right into the interview and see what jonathan majors has to say hey jonathan how are you nice <laughs> i mean nice. It, it was announced nice. that robert downey jr was you know being brought back from marvel to play dr doom i mean it looks like he's replacing your villain you know king i mean are you hurt with the new direction that like marvel is like going yeah, heartbroken. You are? Yeah, how, how, come on, come on. Yeah, of course. I love him. I love Kang. I love Kang. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know... Dr. Or, Doom is lick it, though. Uh, yeah. yeah, it is good. It's going to be good. I mean, I mean, both Robert Downey Jr. and Ezra Miller have had, like, a history of trouble with, like, you know, the law and getting arrested for felonies. I mean, you only had a misdemeanor. Do you feel like it's unfair? that like you're not being given the same opportunities as them? Uh, damn. Uh, I think it's, I think it's fair that Mr. Downing is being and has been greeted with uh, patience and curiosity and love uh, and that Mr. Miller has gotten the same treatment um, and that they're being allowed to work their art and uh, be creative. Uh, at that level, you know, uh, it's not, not, I'm not really, I didn't really, I didn't really get that, so, you know. Do you wish you had, like, the same opportunity as them? I mean, that's hard, I mean, come on, yeah. I mean, why do you think that's the case, though, like, for that? Wow! <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> Would you want your old role back, like your old job back as Kang the Conqueror? Kang? Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I love him. That's why I said I love him. I love him. I love Kang. Love time. Love he who remains. Love him. If that's what the fans want, if that's what Marvel wants, just roll. Hell yeah. And to me, guys, just hearing him say this, tells me that he is not over now no longer playing Kang the Conqueror and additionally may in fact have feelings, bad feelings, on losing the villain role to Robert Downey Jr. He actually makes up some good points about how other actors like Ezra Miller who plays The Flash as well as Robert Downey Jr. himself have sort of been forgiven from their past actions. Now for Jonathan Majors, of course, this is way too fresh. His sentencing just went down a few months ago. And of course, time heals all wounds, but what heals wounds even more is taking action with things like improved behavior, voluntary community service, those sort of things, they tend to go a long way when it comes to being forgiven. Now guys, I'm not saying him doing all of these things would in fact help Disney, you know, decide to forgive him and move forward with Kang the Conqueror, but maybe it would help kind of, you know, get the process going again. Maybe, just maybe, he could get back into the MCU, but right now it just seems a little too fresh it seems like disney definitely has made their decision as far as what they want to do they made the pivot moving from jonathan majors as kang the conqueror 
to Robert Downey Jr. as Dr. Victor Von Doom. His passion is definitely still there. You can see, guys, that he for sure wants to continue playing Kang the Conqueror or he who remains. He absolutely loves the character, and it truly is a shame things ended up turning out the way that they did. I know majority of my audience loves Kang the Conqueror and loves how he was portrayed by Jonathan Majors, so it would be great to see a return, but we'll just have to wait and see what Disney decides to do moving forward. But right now, it seems like their decision has already been made. What do you guys think about the latest interview from Jonathan Majors from TMZ? Let me know down in the comment section below. I definitely want to hear from you. And be sure to check out my huge live stream coming up next week, next Friday, in fact, August 9th for D23. Disney's Entertainment Showcase. From what I understand, the show's gonna kick off right around 7 p.m. Eastern Time, which will give us a peek behind the curtain at upcoming projects coming from the House of Mouse, as well as perhaps even giving us a sneak peek at future projects coming out of the MCU. I can't wait to watch and react to that, so make sure you guys are here next Friday for that live stream. Until then, guys, I am of course your host with the most A to the B, Albert Perkins, and we will see you in the next video. Until then, and as always, peace!